Hi, this is Rick. Um, I thought I'd make a video about getting stoned. So I heard a commotion by the gate, so I went to investigate. So they're generally not happy with me. Okay, that was actually really difficult to do. I'll show you how it was done. First thing I created just uh, a group of AI. They're just standing around with the gate. Um, some of them can't remember which ones now. I'll find one. Like this guy. He has a, a line on it that puts an event handler on him that fires when he throws something, fires a weapon. In this case, the weapon is called throw. And it runs a script called stoners. So these guys are the stoners, not all of them, there's uh, about four or five in this group and then there's another six, these guys have the same script running on them and they come running up here and then when they get more or less within range, they start throwing things at me. You'll notice that if you look closely, they're running two different animations. Uh, one animation is just a default throw animation they actually don't throw anything. The other animation is where they do throw, but the animation is not really very realistic, in my opinion. So I'll show you how it works. So the line that we run on, or well, the two lines that we run on both of, on, on all of the uh, th stone throwers or the stoners, uh, the first line we run is this event handler, add event handler fired, and um, it picks up who threw the who's the who the thrower is, and this select six is the projectile that he's throwing. And then it runs another little script, and it picks up this. And this uh, is what we're looking at now: the actual stoners. Sqf. The object, meaning the guy who threw the stone, is picked up via this select zero. I then set a uh, a local variable, a private variable, to uh, the number for the ammo count, so that's the maximum number of stones they're allowed to throw. The magazine that's used is hand, hand grenade stone. I add a weapon called throw. Uh, I stop them running away and I set them to careless, so they just stand there. Even if I've got a gun and I start firing, they'll kind of mostly just stand around. And it sleeps for up to two seconds and it sets the target to object null meaning there is no target at this point and then it runs a while loop which runs down to there and it says if the object's alive because you obviously don't want him to start throwing stones when he's dead because it's quite tricky and the ammo counts greater than zero so he's got ammo and he's alive which is a uh, which is great because it makes it easier to throw then it then says, okay, private, uh, it looks for the nearest enemy to the object. And it puts that into a, a private variable called nearest. If not is null, nearest, that means that there is a nearest target that's been found within 40 meters. Uh, either that or, in this case, is null target. In other words, the target doesn't exist. And not is now nearest, meaning there is a near enemy. It then puts that near nearest, the found 
nearest enemy into target and then object uh, one meaning this object looks at the target and then uh, it runs a little loop so from one to six ammo count uh, add hand grenade stone to the uniform the object then plays plays action now which is a global has a global effect so you'll see it on all machines and the animation that he plays is flag play action now take flag that's when you kneel down and pick something up so it looks like he's picking up a stone he sleeps for from one to two and a half seconds uh, and then uh, it looks at the target it targets the target it then sets its direction, gets the direction of the target, and minus is 180 degrees from it, and basically sets the object direction so the object looks at the player or the target. It could be any target. It could be any blue force. It doesn't have to be a player. So if you had a group of guys walking through the stoners, they might all get stoned depending on how close they are to the nearest guy who's a stoner. Okay, so then uh, it forces the weapon fire of the the weapon and the um, the muzzle. Then it plays action now, throw prepare. It sleeps for up to eight seconds and then subtracts one from the ammo count and continues to do this until it runs out of ammo. And it sleeps up to three seconds for each loop sorry in the while statement then that is to ensure that they don't all kind of run at exactly the same time because we don't want them to look like robots and it sleeps for up to five seconds and then it allows the stoners to to run away now another part of this was the the fired event handler so when they throw a stone it basically passes the stoner and the projectile the select six is the projectile. It passes those two variables, or um, yeah, our variables, to thrown event handler. Thrown event handler picks up the um, the person who threw it and the projectile that's being thrown. And in the event that the um, object equals the projectile, meaning the guys run out of ammo, then it removes the event handler. Otherwise, it sleeps for three seconds. And then it deletes the vehicle, meaning the grenade that's just been thrown. And I found out that I think it takes 3.5 seconds for the grenade to actually explode. And the reason we have to do this is because, um, unfortunately, in, in Armour 3, the object hand grenade stone is, in fact, a hand grenade. It blows up. So when they, you know, if they kind of supposed to be just slightly annoyed, and they're all throwing grenades at you, kind of defeat the point. Um, so I needed a way to let them throw something at me, but at the same time, to, I don't want the explosion to take place. So when you see those objects being thrown at you, it kind of looks like they're throwing stones, but if you look closer, you'll see they're actually grenades, but they just don't explode. They hit the ground, they bounce, but then they get removed. And that's this little event handler that's doing that little job. So, so something that seems comparatively simple was actually really tricky. Uh, so I hope this was of use to you. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.